Anyway, this is a permutation problem come from section 2.2, and it reads as follows. Rework problem 9 from section 2.2 of your text involving the formation of a, of a number from a list of digits. In this version, you are to form a four-digit number from the digits 2, 3, 4, 8, and 9, using each at most once. Note that you're forming a four-digit number out of five digits. Anyway, the first part of the problem is the easy part, which the student was able to get, but we're going to go ahead and go over really quick. And it asks how many four-digit numbers can be formed. Well, like I said before, you have five numbers to choose from, and you're forming a four-digit number. And you can pick any of those numbers. And I have slots set up down here, which you should probably already be familiar with. So for the first slot, we're going to be choosing any one of the five numbers. So we'll go ahead and write a five in here for the first slot. Now, you've taken one number away. There are four left to choose from. doesn't matter which one you're choosing. And again, then there's three left to choose from, then two. And then what you can do is multiply this together, multiply those numbers together, and that's going to give you 120. And that's the number of different ways to form a four-digit number from the five digits that you were given. Okay, that's it for the easy part. Now let's move on to the harder part. And in this one, you're, you're trying to find the number of four-digit numbers that can be formed from the five given digits that are less than 5,000. If you're trying to do a problem like this and you're lost, a good way to start is just to start listing elements or possibilities in the sample space. In this case, the sample space is four-digit numbers that are less than 5,000. So I'll just write out a couple of different examples of those. So we have five numbers, two, three, four, eight, nine, and we're trying to find the number of ways to list those numbers less than 4,000 or less than 5,000. So an example would be 4,983. Another example would be 2,348. And another example would be 3,489. And that doesn't seem like it did much, but it really does give you an idea of what you're actually trying to do when you're doing these problems. And that's really going to come in handy when you get onto the later sections and you're going to be running some complex experiments that you're going to have to think through and actually run the experiment, list some elements in the sample space to know what you're actually trying to find just to get that out there so your brain can really understand what you're trying to do. Okay, so we can take a look at these numbers and Obviously, for the numbers to be less than 5,000, it's going to have to start, or the number to be less than 5,000, it's going to have to start with a number less than 5. So we can go up here and look at our five possible numbers to choose from and see that there's three digits that are less than 5, and that's 2, 3, and 4. So what you can take from that is that you know your first number has to be either 2, 3, or 4, and there's only, and there's only three of them, so... You can just put a 3 in for your first slot. And that represents any of those three numbers, 2, 3, and 4. And then, so you've taken away one number now. You still have four left. And now it doesn't matter. The rest of the numbers don't matter because the first digit has to be less than, fi has to be less than 5 because this has to be less than 5,000. So for the rest of these, we can just go ahead and fill in just like we did the other one which means you have four digits left, now you only have three, now you only have two. And I don't want to over-explain this, but just to clarify, this three, people okay, get confused on that. The three came from the fact that there are only three numbers less than five. And in order for the number to be less than 5,000, it has to start with the digit less than five. So this three represents any of those three numbers. And then the four after that, well, you've taken away one number. Now you have four left and three left and two left. Okay, so then you multiply all those together, and that gives you 72. And now you know that there are 72 ways to form a four-digit number out of the five digits that we were given that are less than 5,000. And that's the answer to this problem.